Hey there, it's Leslie. It's um, good to be in touch. It's, God, I cannot believe it's almost the end of February 2017. Can you believe that? It's Friday morning. I'm actually over in uh, Chrissy Field and the beach in San Francisco. It's a gorgeous, sunny morning, and we haven't had that many of them. And I uh, just wanted to take a little walk this morning with Indy. And, and I just had this... Um, message I wanted to share with you for those of you that need to hear it. Uh, it's kind of been a theme as of late in conversations I've had with other women. And also, um, it's kind of been a theme for my whole life. And so this is especially for you if you are really holding on to something that you want to do or you want to be or you want to have and and I really want to focus on because this is what I'm really helping women with right now um, career shifts and transitions and going for something that gives you more meaning and um, makes you feel like you bring more you into what you do and you know whether that's starting your own business or just leaving corporate and going into something that is a little more meaningful or staying in corporate but really like you know allowing what you do to change and I've been through all those variations and so what I want to talk about for a second I'm going to try to keep this pretty short um, my arm's going to get tired too holding this <laughs> this is really up close and personal um, but I want to talk about this whole who am I or we call it it's called the imposter syndrome and you can even google imposter syndrome and TEDx talks dedicated to this whole concept that women we as women have way more than men and that's really it boils down to this like who am I who am I to be wanting this who am I to then be doing this as you step into it um, and that can actually keep us from even starting and that's happened in my life and I see it happen in many people's lives and it can really hang us up hopefully not for good but it can really slow us down and so can you believe this I heard this story and I thought you know what I'm not surprised because I know how real this is but just to put this in context for you that gorgeous talented actress Kate Winslet she still shows up on movie sets when she's starting a movie and goes who oh god I don't belong here like who am I why is why am I starring in this you know I don't and and so underneath that can be lots of things but usually it's you know deserving its worth and value issues but you know I think that that story when we look at people that are you know in the public eye and we know are talented in their craft and they go through this then you know it can help kind of relieve some of that inner turmoil that we're either conscious of and sometimes we're not even aware that this is a story or part of our story that's really kind of driving the bus of our life right so um, I want to just connect this this concept to a real story in my life you know when I was at such a pain point and such a tipping point. I was making six figures and I had actually moved into something that was a little more creative. It was still in corporate, but I got out of technology and, um, you know, dispelled one of those myths that you're going to lose your income if you leave technology. I actually made more income leaving technology than I had in technology. But um, I, was, I was burned out and, um, and actually what I was hired for and this department was folding. So long story short, I felt like my back was up against the wall because I didn't want to lose my lifestyle and you know my cute apartment in San Francisco and blah blah blah. Um, but my options were, you know, to just take something in in the company that I knew I would feel a complete, uh, just soul crushing um, reality every day waking up in that job. So anyway, my options were I felt completely at zero. Um, and I hired a coach and she helped me exit and then she really helped me um, connect dots to wanting to go to coaching school now this is actually an idea I'd had years before and this is what I hear a lot of women w uh, go through when they work with me and they're saying to me Leslie I've, I've wanted to do this for so long like I've already had this idea and they start beating themselves up but Part of the point of this who am I and this imposter syndrome I want to share with you is that what happened for me 
was um, we identified that I wanted to be a coach. I actually enrolled in the class and the, and the program that this coach, she was such a, an amazing first coach of mine. She just completely helped me shift so many things in my life. And um, she had taken the course. And so, and, and obviously she was a coach and she knew me. She was getting to know me as a client and my history and my background and my talents. And so she really held my feet to the fire and said to me, so my, my course wasn't going to start for months. And she said, Leslie, I want you to send out an email to everyone you know, and I want you to basically open your doors for business now. I want you to announce that you are a coach and that you can help people. And so if they have anyone that they know, you know, you'd be happy to have a conversation and give them some free sessions because you're just starting out, blah, blah, blah. And I got to tell you, all my stuff came up all of that who am I and she said I'm gonna tell you this program you're going you're gonna do is excellent and it's gonna completely help you build some of the skills that you need and it's going to help you build your confidence but you're all right you're already that coach you know and so I sat with that and I got to tell you sending out that email and just owning that I was going to a make this next move Um, But really, it was more of an identity thing. It was more of a, okay, I am this. I am this. And so I did painfully (laughs) send out that email. But I got to say, that was one of the most challenging things I had to kind of work through within myself. And it didn't go away overnight, but it was just one step of many of really just kind of claiming what I was up to now and what I was going for. And yes, it was a big change and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I already was a coach. So I want to, this is for you. You know, I want to say, and I want to challenge you to consider that there's a part of you that is already in a new career, that has already started or grown that business, that has already taken all the steps that you might be considering taking that's made the leap into a new lifestyle change or a move or, you know, we, who has, you know, gotten the divorce that you might be considering and that you know deep down you need to get or has gotten into the new relationship. There's already a part of you that's done that. And really the work is to close the gap between the you that sits where you are right now in this moment and feels like you don't know enough, you don't know the how, um, we, we're going to get into that um, at an, in another message, <laughs> another video. Um, I really want to sh- start sharing more stories. And really, I'm so passionate about this because it has it's truly one of the biggest things that I feel called to help women overcome and own. And uh, because it's been my own journey, and it continues to be. I mean, there's a saying, new level, new devil. So as you continue to to move into new things, this whole who am I story can come pop back up sometimes. Um, So this is getting longer than I anticipated, but I hope that this is helpful to you today. And, you know, we're in such we're in such uncertain times and we I won't touch on the political landscape. We all know it. Right. Um, But one of the silver linings of this time we're all in and why we are alive at at this time is that I see it all around me and within myself that we're all waking up more and we're all kind of hearing a little alarm go off inside of us, you know, that, okay, who are we here to advocate for or what are we here to advocate for? What are we here to become? You know, as we all step in and live our potential out in the world, we are helping heal the planet. We're helping advocate for what needs to be advocated for. We're just, we're, we're living our soul contract essentially. And that's part of what's going to help transform right now. So um, anyway, I wish you a beautiful weekend and I'll be back in touch soon. And actually uh, take note in this newsletter, I'm sending out a couple of dates, one for a local small workshop in March that I'm super excited to host for a very intimate small group of women. Um, And so you stay, stay tuned for more details, but you'll see the date below for that. And um, I have a couple of other cool things coming up that I'll be announcing. So um, have a great weekend. Bye.